Okay, guys, welcome back to our live today. I'll be your host, Brucias Mwicha, I go by that name, and I'm your host on Bonito Match Highlights. Alongside me, I have a co-host. My friend, you can introduce yourself. Hey, guys, I go by the name Zachary Mwita. Uh, Okay, guys, so today I'll be introducing to you a new game by the name Joga Bonito in the course of the match analysis. It's also an online game like other online games. So for the fans of online gaming, stay tuned. When we reach that step, I'll introduce to you the game and all the highlights about the game. So, to begin with, we'll be talking about AFCON today, mm -hmm. English Premier League, mm -hmm. the, um, you know, the table standings, FA, and everything else to do with football. Yeah, so we're talking about the AFCON today, and we're talking about the AFCON today, and we're talking about the text. Na pia tutakuwa tuna azungumzia yote ndani ya hizi analysis. Nikwambia hapa Bonito tutakuwa tukakwambia mechi zote zenye remember zilikuwa siku tatu tu ndio AFCON ianze maeneo ya Ivory Coast. So tutakuwa tunaanguzia mawili matatu kuhusu AFCON na kitu gani na matarajio gani wewe mtazamaji unafaa ujue na kitu gani unafaa ujue kwa kinaendelea katika hii mchezo wa football. Unajua kana na wanasemana the, the second sweetest in the world. So, CG ya kwanza ni nini, lakini the second ni nini ni football. So, tukwa tunazianazia zote hapa ndani ya match analysis. Kwa isa ni ya bonito. Okay, guys, you stay tuned as we begin today. Na pia tutokuwa, tunawapea phone number yet, tunapo ya WhatsApp na calls. Just in case you want to communicate with us, there is something nataka kulizia, nataka kujua mo kusu. These are match highlights, nataka kujua mo kusu AFCON, the lineups and all that. Unaweza ulizia in advance kwa nambari yetu ya WhatsApp. Hapo kwa screen yako hapo chini tutakuwa tunawaekea namba ya WhatsApp. You can ask about anything that is going on during the live session. Unaweza ulizia kuhusu game na vitu zingine hapo kwa live. So mimi na Mwita I want to give you the mandate. Mhm. Wewe utatuambia kuhusu hizo Afcon matches as we continue. Mhm. Na pia utatuelezea kuhusu Michezo vile umejipanga. Mimi sijui ambavyo umejipanga leo sababu <laughs> sababu unajua pia mtazamaji anaweza kuwa anataka kujua vitu vingine ambavyo tuje discuss. Yeah. So you will take over. Mm. Utatuambia basically what to expect about the Afcon. Afcon. Yeah. Na kwambia Afcon imebaki tu siku tatu wewe mtazamaji ambao unatazama kwa tofauti ulipo na kwa maana imebaki siku tatu Afcon ianze maana ya Ivory Coast. Na kama kawa kama kawaida tuko hapa kuhakikisha kuwa kila kitu kiko sawa kila kitu tunaweka mambo sawa. Na nimekwambia kama uko na swali lolote ya kuuliza pia unaingia WhatsApp kama tunaweza pia kupia namba 0741412784 yani 0741821784 yani namba yenu unaweza tupigia na kama uko na swali lolote tunaweza uliza hapo na kama tunapoingia uh, tuongee mawili matatu kuhusu afcon tutakuwa tunaongea hapo unaweza ingia kwa download www.djwaman.com yani hiyo ndio utakuwa umeingia ndani ndani na leo tunataka kuanzia maneno ya afcon kumbuka afcon siku tatu nimesema zimebaki na watu walikuwa wamejiuliza maswali mengi kwa afcon tutaona ama tutaona maana kuna wale waisani wengine wamezoea kuona kwa zuku wengine wamezoea kuona kwa dstv Eh so hizo zote zilikuwa kidogo kanuni za uh, football hapa na pale walikuwa wameweka vigezo fulani ambazo Zuku yenyewe haikutimiza DSTV yenyewe haikutimiza na pia Super Sport wenyewe hawakutimiza so kwa sasa kama utakuwa unafuatilia football ya Afcon ambayo itaanza itaanza siku tatu tu zijazo maeneo ya Ivory Coast utakuwa unatumia eh, ile app ile mtandao inaitwa Sky Sports Sky Sports ndio inapatiwa utimiti wa kuonyesha hizo game zote ambazo zitakuwa zinacheza zinaanza hapo. Kumbuka finali takwi inachezwa February tarehe 11. Hiyo ndio finali takwi inachezwa maeneo ya Ivory Coast. So kama kama wewe unakwambia kuwa imebaki eh, siku hizo tatu na leo nataka nikwambie nikupatie historia zenye eh, ni nchi gani zinaishinda Afcon na ni mara ngapi? 
So tunaanza leo nataka nikupatie inchi za jazimaji shinda AFCON na mbona na zilishinda mwaka gani kuna zilishinda zikuwa home unajua kama kwa mfano kama uko Kenya kuna ile yenye kuna zile timu zilishinda zikuwa kwa na kuna zile, zile timu zilishinda AFCON zikuwa awe kumaanisha walienda kucheza uh, pengine timu yenye sehemu ile kwa imeyakao waende kucheza hiyo AFCON so tunaanza na away 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 from home champions ah no wenye wameshinda AFCON kutoka si kwao wakichezea kwa, kwao lakini kuchezea nchi nyingine nchi nchi ya kwanza inaitwa Cameroon Cameroon imeshinda AFCON mara tano eh nchi ya kwanza ya jo ikumbuka ile Cameroon ambayo ni nchi ambayo huyu Andrew Onana anatoka huko kipa wa Manchester United so Cameroon imeshinda ho away games za AFCON ya mara tano alafu ya inaifuata kwa karibu sana inajulikana kama inajulika kama Egypt Egypt ni na ama farao hao wanatoka maeneo ya e, ama farao ni wale wa kina Muhammad Salah na ishinda mara mara ine e, afcon so hizi ni baadhi tu ya 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 inch ambazo zimeshinda afcon zikuwa uh, au zikuwa away na, na kuna timu zimeshinda afcon zikuwa home kama vile Egypt Egypt imeshinda afcon ikiwa kwao siku ambayo wakati ambao wale waleanda afcon wakiwa kwao mara tatu so pia Egypt imeshinda mara mara ine wakiwa awe na pia mara tatu wakiwa kwao nchi ya pili ni Ghana Ghana imeshinda mara mbili eh, wakiwa kwao so kumaanisha kuwa eh, kumaanisha kuwa afcon pia wao wanaji, wanajituma sana so nchi ya tatu ni ya, yenye zimeshinda home and away eh, ya national in Af- Af- Afcon ya kwanza ni Egypt imeshinda mara tatu home na mara ine ikiwa hawe na timu nyingine ina, inaitwa Ghana Ghana imeshinda mara mbili kwa kwao na mara mbili kwa away so kumaanisha hizo uh, ni mara mbili wakiwa kwao mara mbili wakiwa away timu ya tatu ni inaitwa Nigeria na Nigeria imeshinda tu mara moja kwa wakiwa wenyeji wa Afcon alafu mara mbili wakiwa wageni wa Afcon alafu timu ya timu ile ni Algeria Algeria hao ni akina Mahrez hao wachezaji akina Mahrez ndio wanatoka wameishinda tu mara moja wakiwa kwao na alafu mara moja wakiwa eh, away timu ambayo imeishinda Afcon wanasema anga most achieved in the nation in, in Afcon history sema so, most achieved ya kwanza ni inji imeishinda mara saba na ndakuwa na kupata historia ya, ya, yao jinsi walianza kushinda Afcon wa elfu moja mwaka afcon walianza kushinda hii nje wa farao wa egypt walianza kushinda afcon mwaka 1957 alafu pia wakashinda mara ya pili mwaka 1959 alafu pia wakaweza kushinda mwaka 1986 alafu pia wakaanza wakashinda afcon mwaka 1998 alafu pia wakashinda afcon mwaka 2006 alafu mwaka 2008 alafu last scene ambayo tunasema ka last scene kushinda ni mwaka 2010 so inji kidio inji ya kwanza maishinda afcon mara mingi sana mara saba nchini eh, ya eh, afcon inji ya pili inaitwa cameroon maishinda mara tano mara ya kwanza cameroon kushinda afcon ilikuwa mwaka 1984 alafu mwaka 1988 alafu mwaka 2000 alafu mwaka 2002 kwa kumaanisha walishinda mwaka 2000 na mwaka 2002 mwani double mfululizo mfululizo alafu pia last scene hii ilikuwa ikiandaa kwao wakati walikuwa wakiandaa kwa afu walishinda mwaka 2017 alafu nchi ya tatu ni nchi ya Ghana nchi ya Ghana ambayo imeshinda mara nyingi mara kwanza Ghana kushinda Afcon mwaka 1963 alafu mwaka 1965 alafu mwaka 1978 alafu mwaka 1982 maanisha hii nchi bado kuna ile kiangazi kwa kusema mia kuanzia uh, last year ambao walishinda mwaka 1982 kwa hiyo mtoto mmoja alizaliwa miaka hiyo saidi mkubwa hata ameoleka kwa watoto wakubwa so hiyo ni tasira tu hapa na pale nilikuwa nakupatia ili ujue ni kipi ni kitu gani unatarajia ni mtu gani pekee unatarajia huo inaweza kuwa ina inaweza kuwa itapewa hiyo afu kuna boy naanza siku tatu kuanzia leo pekee pekee mwanzo kama uko na swali mwili wa tatu kiendelea a uh, mimi sina la kuongeza kuhusu Afcon lakini labda nikiongezea zaidi ningependa mm-hmm. kuzungumza kuhusu nchi yetu ya Kenya. 
pia na kukumbusha kuwa Kenya tuko Afcon lakini tutakuwa tuna support Tanzania ambao ni majirani <laughs> majirani wetu tunatolewa sisi Afcon hatuna uwezo so we rally behind those guys nimesikia zinabaki siku tatu ambayo Afcon inaanza tarehe 13 mm-hmm. so tukijipanga ku, kwa kutazama ama kuangalia Afcon na kukumbusha pia ku download mchezo ambao ndio the top of the town size mchezo unaoitwa Joga Bonito Guys kama wewe unapenda online online gaming tuko na game kama vile Cardi Cardi Pro na wewe ukipenda kucheza online gaming wewe ni fan wa football ama pool ingia pale kwa www.gwaman.com download mchezo unaitwa Joga Bonito huo mchezo ukisha jiunga uko na many privileges kuna bonuses unajiunga tu hivi unapata bonus yako ya kwanza game 25 shillings na pia unaweza refer rafiki yako ukicheza game ikubali you tell a friend and ask a friend to, to refer a friend so download your game kwa www.gwma.com alafu pia kama kuna chochote ambacho labda utakumbana nacho kama tatizo kwa game unaweza ukatupigia direct au ukatupata kwenye whatsapp kupitia hiyo namba ambayo unaiona kwa screen yako 0741 8274 84. Joga bonito got you sorted. Saizi nasikia watu wanasema January kuna njaa. Ibe enyewe kuna njaa. January leo kuna njaa sana. Ya yeah, so kama uko na shilingi yako ya kushirini, inasimacha siku na free table. Maybe ungetaka kujua online gaming iko na nini to offer. Online gaming is just like any other online investment. Unaingia hapo na pesa yako shilingi 5, shilingi 2, shilingi shilingi 5, shilingi 10, 20 you have to put their stake uko na shilingi tano kuendelea wanasema ni afrika go yeah so hiyo game size tunacheza kwa nchi tatu tuko na Kenya Uganda na Tanzania na as we plan to expand to other parts of Africa tunawakaribisha watazamaji wetu wote you download that game at www.gwaman.com unapata bonus hapo hapo alafu pia refer rafiki kama uko na game tayari umecheza game ya kufurahisha. Tunaona kama ni game ya kufurahisha. Niko na rafiki yangu hapa co-host. Nawaambia jamani niko na mchezo hapa. Nikicheza dakika 10 ama 5 niko na 50. You refer friend a download game hapo kwa www.gwaman.com. Na as we continue pia my co-host hapa tawaelezea kuhusu group betting. Hapa kwa match analysis najua sisi wote ambao tunatazama hapa ni wa ni wapenzi ama ni watazamaji wa mchezo wa mpira kandanda mm-hmm. so that is to mean guys pia we like betting huh? mm-hmm. so we shall be doing the match fixes and match analysis at the same time we give you the predictions so always stay tuned hapa kwa live yetu we shall be telling you more updates about what we plan for you guys from the Joga Bonito community yeah nakwambia tu ucheze mbali tutakuwa tunakuelezea uh, mawili matatu kuhusu vile utaka utakao jiunga na Joga Bonito. Na tumekupatia tu link hapa tunakwambia wewe una download na unatumia tu www.gwaman.co.k. Ya mwana unaingia kwenye WhatsApp au kwenye hiyo namba tu 0747812187 eh, Kwambia ukituma tu ujumbe wote hapo utakuwa tunaupata kwa njia ya tunasemanga njia mwafaka za zaidi. So meanwhile uh, as we continue ningependa uguzie ule mchezo wa jana wa Chelsea na Middlesbrough Sijui siku utazama labda tuelezee kuna pia mtazamaji ambaye hapo na what happened yesterday night. Maybe kama unaweza tuelezea utuambie Chelsea na Middlesbrough ni timu gani ilishinda? What are the highlights as uliona kulianda the team? Kama kuna team iliona pale, kama kuna mchezaji <laughs> man of the match, labda kama unaweza kutangulia kidogo tu kwa sababu wewe kwanza kabla hujatangua ni timu gani ulikuna unapigia upande wa Shina. Ah mimi nilikuwa nina kawaida mimi kama fan wa Arsenal. Yeah. The nearest teams kwa karibu na mimi ni Liverpool yeah. na Chelsea. So mimi kwa matarajio yangu nilitegemea kwa Chelsea ingeshinda. Ingeshinda hiyo timu walikuwa na ya kwa mabao mawili hivi. Mawili hivi wa over 1.5. Kama ningekuwa naelekea bet <laughs> ningewekelea Chelsea hapo na over 1.5. Lakini mungu Chelsea walipoteza nafasi ni nyingi sana. Kwa hiyo 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 game niliona niliona jana Chelsea walikuwa na nafasi nyingine kubwa sana 
na wakati mid school walipata hiyo chance moja wao waweze kufunga na ukiangalia hata game yenye liku inachezwa jadi mid school ilikuwa inajituma sana kumbuka hii mid school kocha kocha wao kocha wao alikuwa kama mchezaji wa Man anaitwa Mekokari sijiko na kumbuka huyo ndio alikuwa alikuwa enzizo alikuwa mchezaji wa Man under Sir Alex Ferguson ya wakati Alex Ferguson alianza kujiani kuritaya mwaka 2014 so jana mchezo wa rajano ulikuwa aje mchezo wa mchezo wa jana Chelsea ilikuwa na ilijituma na pia position ilikuwa sawa lakini nafasi walipoteza sana hususa tukianza kusema nafasi mtu kama Michael mtu kama Sterling Sterling ni mmoja wa wachezaji ambao wali walijituma lakini mwisho wa siku unajua nasema anga kabumu hata mkisema unaweka touches chini si hiyo wanazamaji tunataka mtu mabao tunataka mtu tunataka mtu mabao na for the, for the first time tunaona team yenye inacheza division 2 uh, division 1 ikishinda iki yani ikishinda iki, iki Chelsea unajua Chelsea sijui shida iko wapi kwa sababu sahi sahau kwenye Chelsea wakati wako sehemu wako wako sehemu nyingine yenye wako underrated na kumbuka huko cha wanyo kwa nani kwa cha mwenye alikuwa Tottenham Hotspur na wakati huo alikuwa Tottenham Hotspur alikuwa moto wa kuoti ambaye akiwa alikuwa wakati wao wanyama alikuwa akichezea Tottenham na pia Harry Kane alikuwa mwenye maeneo haki pia Son so ni mmoja wa set ni kwa cha mwenye ajui uzoefu wa EPL uzoefu wa EPL na ujua sana so mimi kwa hapo naona pengine kuna hao kuna msijui kama kwa hiyo technical bench ya Chelsea kuna mgomo fulani wako nao ama ni kitu gani inaji kwa sababu mimi naona like kama je huyu captain wao James hayuko hapo nyuma kiwaongelesha au watu wanakuanga asamu wa communication yao ya mpira inakuwa chini sana that's why you don't want to win dog kama hiyo kipata unajua team ndogo hata kama kama mini sio ingepata la draw bado wanashiriki kwa sababu Chelsea ni timu kubwa ukisema timu kubwa ni zile timu zenye unaweza shinda na useme kodi tumeshinda so kumaanisha kuwa first first leg first leg ya Chelsea ya Chelsea Chelsea kushindwa tuseme second leg itakuwa tarehe 23 Januari ambao wataenda sasa Stamford Bridge kwambia sasa hivi walikuwa wanacheza Riverside stadium ambao ni uwanja wa Midlands pro so kumaanisha kuwa hiyo second kama Chelsea watatilia manani sana si si <laughs> Yaani kwa mbele si kinaye utaona tu mimi sikuwa wakicheza na wakicheza na Liverpool final. Kama Chelsea hawata hawata jituma. Yaani watakao wanacheza ile kiu, kiu nyonge nyonge. So utakuwa unaona bado wanajiweka kwenye nafasi ya wajitumi sana. So kumaanisha kuwa Chelsea wako na moyo wakifocus vizuri hiyo hiyo timu yenyewe hiyo timu inapana ina, ina na kushuka kwa sababu walikuwa wanakuja mbele wengine wanarudi nyuma wote. So kumaanisha walikuwa wanajituma sana. And like game ya Chelsea hata ukiangalia position walikuwa juu position ya Chelsea ilikuwa 69 huku position ya Mendes Mendes uh, ilikuwa na ilikuwa 34 31 so kumaanisha Chelsea walikuwa wana waona miliki mchezo vizuri lakini walipopa au uh, Mendes Pro walipopata baa bas wakaanza kuzuia 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 na hiyo kuzuia ndio ilisababisha waka win so kumaanisha Chelsea wachukua tu advantage tarehe 23 Januari hii wakati watarudia hiyo uh, home sasa waweze kuwachapa mabao at least mabao mawili kwa Nigeria kwa sababu wakuwachapa mabao moja Chelsea itakuwa bado inatoka kwa sababu kuna ile home advantage ya Mendes Pro so kidogo Chelsea ijitume sana ijitume sana yani kumaanisha kujituma ile tunasema kujitoa mhangu kujituma sana extra kama wanataka at least hii msimu si wako unajua tayari tunaona eh EPL isha, isha bado wako chini sana okay bado kuna nafasi lakini kule kujituma alafu ndio kama Carabao ndio unaweza jituma tu wafike hata kama ni Fulton inaweza kuwa sawa haya pia FA bado FA bado kuna timu mingi bado hapo pia wako na uwezo na wanaweza jituma so kwa ngo Chelsea ilicheza mchezo mzuri lakini mchezo mzuri wenye kinataka ni kufunga mabao good yeah So rafiki yangu mtazamaji hiyo ndio match highlight ya jana ya Chelsea. So zenye zenye pita na what we expect mbele na predictions. So apart from that spiel so coach naongelea maneno ya prediction ambayo sasa ni betting hapo kwa match fixes but baada ya kuambiwa analysis za jana pia tunakuwa tunakuambia games ambazo tunatarajia kucheza hivi karibuni 
sijui kama EPL bado iko post eh EPL mpaka next weekend next weekend yeah, yeah. so mimi ni ile game ambayo tutanao karibu sana ni Afcon mm-hmm. so guys you stay tuned hata kama tunajua Kenya haiko sasa hapo kushabikia nchi zetu za East Africa ambao ni Tanzania tu mm-hmm. Tanzania tu ndiko Afcon says yeah, it to East Africa yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys stop in Tanzania yeah so guys that's all for right now acha turudi kwa mchezo wetu wa Joga Bonito that game to introduce kwa sasa hivi hapa online unaweza download kwa www.gwman.com alafu once you have your, your game hub una register you create an account na unapata bonus yako maybe umeka hapo na sema uchumi umekuwa mgumu you want to do something about it wewe well, ingia hapo online kama kuna data yako ya shilingi 5 ama wifi ingia online download game ya Joga Bonito then you play you stick from the lowest amount ambayo ni five ball to any table and you nataka kama unataka kucheza table ya 50 na rafiki yako unawekewa hiyo table you you play and at least earn something from that game so meanwhile as we also talk about that game ningependa kuwakumbusha kuwa hivi karibuni kabla afcon haija anza we will be working on group betting guys so be ready for multi bets we will be doing group betting in our community the joga ma the joga bonito community which is also under the german company we will be doing group betting tutaweka so, like, hapo link ya whatsapp in our next live sizes dani kama ipo tayari tutaweka link ya whatsapp group yetu ya group betting so always stay tuned ukwe hapo na sisi every time we go live tunakwambia what we expect ndio tuna bet pamoja all your predictions will be welcome tunaweka pesa yetu pamoja we bet tunazigawa we bet on different slips ambazo ni za multi bet so mimi let me allow my co-host bado atueleze zaidi kuhusu the matches sababu nipanga nazo so the ipenda tumeambia matches zilikuwa zinacheza jana game kubwa ilikuwa hiyo mme mimi sio kwa kucheza na chelsea ama mimi sio naweza kushinda mabao baba moja ilo si unajua nikisema baba watu wanashinda eh baba aje tumeona na baba yenye walishinda ni moja so hiyo ndio game ilikuwa ilikuwa kali sana na pia kuna game ambayo itakuwa inaongelewa leo ni game ambayo ni ya liverpool wanakuwa wanacheza na ile timu na ile timu inajulikana kama mm, o Fulham Fulham United Liverpool kuna cheza na Fulham United uwanja watakao uwanja wa Anfield kumbuka kushinda Anfield inakuanga vigumu sana hata kwa historia yote ukiingia Anfield maybe kushindi na kuanga vigumu sana so kumaanisha hata wachezaji watu usiangalie yeye usiangalie oh hapa ni Liverpool ngaje Liverpool sasa hivi na trend hata kuwa kwenye kwenye kikosi sasa hii trend hata kwa kwenye kikosi kwa sababu hakuna jeraha na goti hiyo game walikuwa na walicheza last so alianza kuumia lakini si neno licha kwa hata kwa kwa kikosi kuna wale wachezaji wanaojituma so leo saa ndo saa saa tano usiku Liverpool atakuwa anacheza na West Ham United kumbuka Liverpool wana kuzia vikombe vingi ambapo ni EPL kuna Carabao alafu kuna uh, kuna FA alafu kuna Europa lakini sasa hivi naangalia huu kocha wa Liverpool Uh, Jagan Klopp sasa ana, ana, anatazamia tu vikombe zote kwa sababu uh, for the last December amekuwa ki win 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 so maanisha kuna kikombe jana anaweza acha nyuma kumaanisha sasa anajituma sana si kama vile unajua kidogo technical bench ya technical ya Man City ama Arsenal kuna vile wako na udhaifu kidogo so ana, anatumia hiyo hiyo technique maana kusema Arsenal na hata bila kuta ni laumu sababu ni best na kuzia timu na technical bench Eh, kuwa so, Liverpool wanaweza tumia hiyo chance ili kuweza kujiweka kwenye hali yenye iko sawa. So wakati wa watakuwa wanacheza na Fulham na ninaona ni home. Ah, hii au mwekezaji wa Eka over 2.5. Hapa mambao yataingia kuingia. Unaweza <laughs> tu 2.5 na utakuwa unitaki me later. Ah, kuna hiyo hiyo game ya Liverpool na Fulham. Alafu kuna kuna huyu mchezaji wa mchezaji wa Cameroon. Huyu ndo unaona huyu goalkeeper. Unaona? Eh. Unaona huyu wa Man U. Huyu wa Man U. Cameroon wa Mohamed, unajua zimebaki siku tatu hapo nianze kwa maana yake. Na hazarudi. Na hazarudi. Kulingana na huyu unaona anapenda nchi yake ama. Unaona unajua ina smarts as mafans wa 
manu anaona onana na let down juzi tukikuwa kwa live stream yetu tulisema kuwa onana is very much dependable sababu kama onana hangekuwa dependable si za angekuwa misharuti kujitayarisha kwa michezo yake ya afro so unaona shabiri yake kwa very tight very held up anaongojea ku defend manu kabla hajarudi kucheza afro lakini kama nakumbuka vizuri last time nilisema pia atakuwa kwa Afcon in as much as hajarudi onana ndo atashikia Cameroon. Mhm eh. Yeah. Sio kwa ako kwa match line up yao tayari. Ako kwa match. Sasa shida ni mpaka sasa ya kuna game mwenye next man you itakuwa inacheza na Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> na onana atakuwa anawashikia hiyo siku. Na hiyo siku itakuwa tarehe 10 na itakuwa tarehe 13. Na wao wako na game tarehe 13. Na tarehe 10 na tarehe 14. But it's okay sababu kama kwa fixture tayari that is to mean wameshajipanga wanajua hata kama atashiki hiyo match a team even hata kwa muda wa kupumzika sababu baada hiyo game hiyo ni kama kutubilisha kuwa tasafiri kurudi Afrika. Lakini kuna wachezaji wenye wanacheza Ulaya wa wameshaji au mchezaji kama Mohamed Salah si anachezea anachezea Liverpool amerudi amerudi lakini si tulisema kuwa onana ndio tegemeo pekee wa Manchester. Kwa hiyo hata kama wako na bench, okay lazima wako na bench goalkeeper. Lakini goalkeeper ambaye wanategemea sana ni onana. Onana. So so kumaanisha onana uko okay ukisema onana na wewe digia kati ya onana na digia. Hadi sasa hizi digia bado kwa maana. Hayuko maana kuna tetezi zilikuwa. Okay digia anaingia ni ngasta. Kuna tetezi zilikuwa hivyo. Lakini sijui amefikia wapi. Mm-hmm. Lakini Digia alikuwa very dependable upande wa Manu. Na mimi sasa nitakubaliana na mashabiki wa Manu. In as much as size Manu is a useless team. Manu ni timu ambayo imeshuka kiwango sana. Mm-hmm. Sababu it's very bad. Unajua Manu was a very was a dead team kutoka wakati wa Alex Ferguson Manu was a beaten. Sijui ni kwa mbinga ilikuwa ni beaten several ukiangalia hiyo ile na mzima Manu was a beaten season karibu zote tena Alex Ferguson <laughs> na kutoka hapo sijui Mourinho Moyes Mono waka take over Manu bikiama ile ile rudi kiwango chini kidogo <laughs> sana angalau ina smarter zikiangalia huko Arsenal tukia Arsenal ikianza season ilikuwa top eh ile Arsenal ilikuwa top eh inakuwa kwa top eh inakuwa kwa top lakini sijui hapo katika okay ni bila Arsenal ifikiaji ichukua ni kikombe mm-hmm. lakini juzi tukiongelea tulisema kuwa apart from EPL mm-hmm. if they are bad mm-hmm. Arsenal has been well well <laughs> na hapo kwa premier mm-hmm. Arsenal inakuja vizuri kuna ile starting power mm-hmm. inaanza vizuri lakini ukifikia hapo katikati mm-hmm. hapo ndo Arsenal inapata challenge so watu wetu wana shida na kuanga watu kwa sababu wanaanza na mioto na kumbuka last season walikuwa hivyo hivyo alafu last minute una from nowhere to man city kakudi kapiki na ikakuwa hivyo ndio umeshinda tunajua kama size ya uh, i still fail to understand unajua the last three matches chelsea imekuwa unbeaten eh uh-huh. sijui kama unajua hivyo yeah. lakini the last three matches arsenal imepigwa zote kasababu ya so kumaanisha hata kama ni london derby kuna vile they are they are communicating mimi haja sababu juzi juzi nasikia ukisema kuwa saka bila repaint nywele ni haribu nyota yake ni mchezaji ni mchezaji tu it's okay kumaanisha saka asipofunga hapo mchezaji mwingine anatafunga wasa eh kuna machine gabriel jesus eh kuna jesus huyu walikwanga man city eh si hao wenyewe wanatosha ya kuna wachezaji wazuri sana ambao wanaweza kufunga lakini mbona hawafungi unajua shida ya arsenal shida ya arsenal ndio wanataka wachege kwa hiyo mpaka wachake oh, mwaki <laughs> wale mashabiki wa Arsenal ambao tu stream <laughs> <laughs> mashabiki wa Arsenal mm. 2024 tunaanza baya baya sana but we take heart mm-hmm. tunajua tuko na coach wetu hapo is working on something mm-hmm. Michael Ateta mm-hmm. na things will work out for us we are very positive things will work out for us mm-hmm. na ma- mashabiki wa Arsenal every time tunaenda kuwa na match tutakuwa tunawapea match analysis mm-hmm. na pia tunawaambia prediction mm-hmm. na what you expect na vile unaweza kelea bet kwa match bet zetu tutakuwa tunafanya kwa group bet zetu tutakuwa tunaekelea match bet kama uko na shilingi 
ukikuwa na shilingi 100 badala uwekele bet slip moja tukikuwa watu kumi na shilingi 100 hizo ni bet slip kumi tunachukua shilingi 10 10 10 shilingi kumi kumi yep. tunajumuisha kumi yangu kumi yangu na ya mwingine tunaweka bet slip moja Mode. ya 100 Tunachukua shilingi zingine kumi hivyo mpaka tuwekele bet slip kumi hizo ni match bet. Na ikiingiliana. Yeah, ikiingiliana tunagawana pesa. So you guys stay tuned tutakuwa tunafanya match bets. Na tukifanya match bets unajua hapo kuna chances nyingi kuna double chance na other things. Tutakuwa tunapea platform ya kuya ya predictions kuna predict na tutumia hapo na sisi tunakubaliana everyone's prediction will be valuable. Yeah, tutakuwa tunaangalia tu zote au sijali ambao tunatumia kupitia hiyo namba iko hapo kwa screen chini ni 0741 eh 82 17 eh 84 hiyo ndio namba yenye kwa screen yetu hapo chini kumbuka unaweza download pia kupitia www.gwman.co.com and www.gwman.com unaweza download na upate kujua ni kitu gani ambao kinajili kwenye sana ya yani michezo na wachezaji kwa sababu hapa tunaanza tuna, tunazungumzia siku zote michezo na wachezaji wote kwa ujumla na tutakuwa tunaangalia maneno ya transfer transfers mm. transfer window ziko effective ja ziko ziko mingi kuna pia kuna wale wachezaji ambao wanacheza ligi ya Saudi Arabia kuna wale wa, kuna wale wanasema Clement ya huko na pia unajua Saudi Arabia most of the hizo clubs wanapatiana na wanapatia huge amount of money kama Alnasir yeye yeah. alichukua Ronaldo na na Mane na Mane ana wachezaji wengi wanasema wengine pesa iko lakini training iko iko chini mm-hmm. so ndo tutakuwa tunakuwa tunapatia match anale update za hapa na pale kuhusu venye hizo ma transfer ziko alafu tutakuwa unajua ni kitu gani ambao inaji ndio tutaanzia na Crystal Palace Crystal Palace Michael Olise could be heading to Premier League unajua huyu mchezaji ambao amekuwa akitamani sana aingie Premier League amekuwa akichezea wapi huyu alikuwa alikuwa kwa Premier League Division 1 lakini anataka apande au kwa zile timu za relegation yeah so so uh, kuna club yenye namfukuzia sana ikiwa ni Manchester United uh, moving to speak to sign to sign him but wao na mgeliana alafu club nyingine inaitwa Liverpool we try to convince uh, Kelly Mbappe na John Mbappe ndio anakuwa uh, top, uh, top of the town to send them over Real Madrid by saying that the Premier League is much more attractive than La Liga kusema La Liga okay La Liga kuna ile timu mwanzo tu hiyo ndio League but uh, uh, according to uh, Kelly Mbappe he said that the Premier League is the more competitive uh, league in, in the world so so La yeah. Liga yeah yeah So ukisema La Liga huwezi kuzingalisha La Liga na Premier League. So alafu uh, before before niendelee kuna hao wachezaji kuna men of uh, men players uh, players are considering leaving to Saudi uh, leaving Saudi Arabia. Uh, they do not adapt the climate na pia rules na pia culture za huko. Huko pia ni kumoto sana. Wale yeah. watu wako wameenda Saudi. Yeah. Huh? Ni kumoto sana. Evidence ni kumoto. Some of, some of the players they are, they are saying that uh, because of even the low attendance ya 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 feel so walikuwa wanasema watakaotaka tu acha hata kama in terms of money same club yenye wataenda maybe pesa itakuwa imepungua but they, they are saying they are good to go mmoja kati ya ni familia familia ni mmoja wa wachezaji ambao alikuwa anachezea timu ya uh, ya Liverpool so alikuwa alikuwa anachezea uh, uh, ligi ya Saudi Arabia so wanasema sasa hii nimechoka na hii prime na alafu culture ya alafu low attendance ya kuingia field iko chini sana pia mwingine anaitwa Benzema Benzema ni mmoja wa a uh, wachezaji ambao wanajituma sana. Benzema I think Benzema wengi walimjua walimjua kutoka ile timu yake ya Real Madrid. Mm-hmm. Na yeah, na Henderson uh, hao tu ni baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wamesema next round atatakuwa uh, si, na atakuwa tunaendelea na wana alafu tukiingia kwenye England Chelsea owners have put 140 pounds eh, back into the club by buying 100 new shares all of the injury of cash was according to component house made it just before the start of the general transfer window it's uncle what the money will be used for so kasema hiyo pesa unaweza tumia before hiyo jana hiyo jana 
kuisha watumie hiyo hiyo pesa kumaanisha kwa wadaitu wote watumie kuleta wachezaji wengine alafu kuna ile Arsenal na Arabia tuko kwa top level kwa hadi for Mount Rushmore na wachezaji wengine wengi sana kutoka
Yes. Okay, guys. So welcome back to the live show. Let's and we are, so we are talking about the game of Joker Bonito. You see the highlights. We know how bad the matches we have been playing. The tables, how how people get rewarded to win. That's how the leader. The online, the online table, the players and all that. The table is the game. Pool of chess or ambao, una chess or design ya pool. Tuko na gold post hapo, na tuko na pool na discs. So guys, come when you chess or pool, when you chess or you are football. Na pia una penda online gaming. This is the perfect game for you. Yes. So you always stay tuned with us every day as we give you the match highlights and all that. My friend, sasa labdu tuweleze zaidi kuhusu ile match ya jana. Unatua, yes, tumeguzi ile match ya, ya Chelsea na Mills, bro. Tumeongelea possession, tumeongelea all that, tumeongelea expectations, what we expected to see and all that. Na umesama kuwa Mills back kwa likuwa ho. Na Chelsea, kwa kona game next line ambayo Chelsea takuwa ho. Chelsea, Chelsea takuwa ho. So guys, you you stay there with us always the same time, same place. Tutakuwa tunawapia analysis vizuri sana na pia tutakuwa tunawelezea what to expect. Meanwhile, labdo kituambia zaidi kuhusu AFCON. AFCON, maybe the matches and all that preparations. Pale Ivory Coast nini, wala wachezaji wanyulisema wako France, venye France itakuwa French League. In French, you can go. The 56 players. Yeah, one of our up on. Yes, a lot of to be able to be able to affect the French. Now, what we expect, the impact we expect those players to have, what you would be Africa to chase again. And in fact, it's not going to be the same for how to come and give your friends. I think friends is the big young boy in the Shimbuka Sana Sari. Kama penye kisema hapo jana kwa wada walikuwa live Kama friends hai wa French League wali wachezaji Kama wachezaji ya msina sita Just imagine wachezaji ya msina sita Matoka ligi Kwa kuseme kama like EPL Wachezaji wa EPL msini na sita Wachezaji wa EPL kama mkumkona msina sita Watoto wakile kucheza AFCON Kuseme hiyo inadigi hata team Pengine unapata wachezaji kama wana wa wachezaji team moja so hiyo kongo hiyo ina inadili sana kama kwa wachezaji kumbuka sasa hivi tulikwanga sasa hivi kuna marefa yao ambao watakuwa afcon nitakuwa nakudia pia hawa wawili tatu pia kutoka hapa Kenya kuna wale wachezaji wachezaji kuna wale marefa hii ambao walichaguliwa waenda huko maeneo ya Ivory Coast waende kuchezesha michezo ya afcon so hao wachezaji wengi ambao wa wa watakuwa wanacheza wanaenda huko kucheza wengi wao wanatoka nchi za western part of Kenya ah western part of Africa kwa kamradi ambao unajua kwa mfano hii western part of Africa wachezaji wengi wanacheza game za Europa labda kuna hii kuna hiyo table yenye mtoka sijui kama mwanangu nione kuna hiyo table kutoka Africa onesha Michael Olunga Olunga alikuwa na nambari 22 kwa best player in the world na mabunga mabao mabao kwanza alikuwa Cristo Ronaldo alikuwa hapo ni Real Madrid watatu ni Harry Kane alafu waine ni Alan Haaland kwa watano ni Gareth Bale waine ni Romelu Lukaku Dennis Pogba huyu ni wa saba alafu nani ni Jamal Lukaku hapo kwa sita ni ni Varan Vaga na tunapata ishinda mbili hapo tunapata Victor Mugudi si Victor ah ni Mike ni ni Mike Olunga Najua Olunga anachezea nchi ya so kumanisha pia ya kuhizo mapande za Saudi Hiyo upande wa Ronaldo na Na hui pia nito na Sajio Mani So na pia hapo ngependa kukulizia Kuna ule mchezaji ndugu ya Mbappe Ambaya kuna match flani Ninaona pale Mbappe ya nampea pass hapo kwa Hiyo ni PSG Huyo ndugu yaki ya naituaji Na ako kwa Ako kwa academy ama mejoin, mejoin na game official. Bada kwa academy, yonajua aja ingiza zile kwaanza. Pengine, ni nune, naeza suma ni kama hazard. Kuna wana, gari mwakisha mzile mahazard. Kwa kuna mtu, 
mtu hapa lakini hajakoa na hiyo kumaanisha huyo kijana anakuja vizuri sana so going forward hata huyo mwaka unaweza unaweza ona anachukua kama wa kijana kwa sababu kuna usiku wa miaka 18 wanaonekana na mchezaji huyo kinga wa Manchester United anaitwa Mino Mino eh, ni mmoja pia wa wachezaji ambao wanatanga sana ambao wanajituma sana kama huyo ndugu yake ndugu yake Mbappe Nikumwambia Mbappe sasa yako na chose zingi za kuchagua either aende timu ya Liverpool Premier eh, au ama aende hii timu na inajulikana kama Real Real Madrid La Liga La Liga, La Liga. So so bado kuna uamuzi ni wake kwa sababu sasa hivi imebaki miezi sita na contract yake isha kwa upande wa uh, PSG na contract yake kisha hivi unajua atakuwa free on loan eh unajua <laughs> contract yake kisha hivi atakuwa free on loan lakini kwa sasa hivi tukiingia kwa uh, tukiwa kwenye Afcon pengine watu wanajiuliza Afcon timu gapi ziko Afcon timu zenye ziko hapo ni timu 24 na nitakuwa na nitakusomea Afcon timu zenye ziko hapo 24 kwa haraka haraka timu ya kwanza ni Ivory Coast ya pili ni Morocco alafu kuna ya tatu Algeria South Africa Senegal Burkina Faso kuna Tunisia kuna Egypt kuna Zambia kuna Ecuador Guinea kuna Nigeria kuna Guinea Bissau kuna Cape Verde unajua hii Cape Verde ni ni nchi ambayo inapatikana maeneo ya south huko chini south africa maeneo huko chini lakini south africa pia ni ni nchi nyingine so ni pia nitakuambia south africa unajua tu maeneo yanapatikana ni huko chini ukiingia kwa hiyo map ya africa Cape unasema Cape Verde mm. sio nchi ya south africa yeah. so <laughs> tuko na Cape Verde hapo na Cape Town Cape Cape Town ni nchi ni 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 city ni city kwa south africa kama Johannesburg lakini Cape Verde ni nchi ni nchi anashangaisha Afrika gani alafu kuna Mali kuna gini kuna Ghana kuna Angola kuna Tanzania wenyeji hapa marafiki zetu kuna Mozambique kuna DRC Congo unajua kuna DRC na kuna Congo Brazzaville so yenye majirani tu lakini lugha ni moja wanazungumza hata kifaransa ni venye tuko na Sudan eh, na, na South, South Sudan, Sudan. Mm-hmm. exactly yes. hivyo alafu tuko na kina Mauritania Mauritania kumbuka hii Mauritania ndiko na kipa mrefu sana hii kama na mrefu mrefu niliona juzi the the tallest the goalkeeper in the world <laughs> anatoka Mauritania sana <laughs> za basket <laughs> sasa kama Thailand ni nimeweka hapo uh, ni moja pia wa kipa ambao ana anajituma sana alafu tuko na Mauritania ndio tuko na Gambia tuko na Cameroon alafu tuko na Namibia so hizo ni timu ambazo zitakuwa uh, zina ninawacheza maeneo ya Afcon huko uh, Ivory Coast kwa hivyo wewe kuangalia kwa haraka yako wewe unaona timu gani utasupport hapo kuna timu ambazo zinajituma sana kuna timu ambazo zinajituma sana so hayo ni mambo mawili matatu alafu kia kwenye eh, Kenya Premier League kuna baadhi ya ambao zimefikia kwa sasa kuwa uh, uh, kocha ambaye anajulikana kama Sami Omolo Kwamzo ambaye pia ni kocha pia ni mwa ni mtu wa football analysis Sami Omolo Kwamzo ameweza kuchaguliwa na ameweza kutangazwa na timu ya Shabana FC sasa hizi ndio atakuwa anashikilia kama kocha wa Shabana FC kama wanavyojiita eh, Tore Bobe au ni miamba wa soka ambao wanatoka maeneo ya Nyanza huko kwenye Kisi so sasa hivi unajua Shaban imekuwa na msimu mbaya hivi uh, ya kupata kupata ku, 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 kuingia na kutoka kuingia na kutoka la, lakini si yana sasa hivi wamepata kocha mpya ambaye ni Sami Omolo Pamzo so wacha tumpatie Sami Omolo Pamzo hiyo muda tuone kama Shaban at least kama watatoka hiyo na nambari yenye wako alafu pia kwenye Kenya Premier League kuna huyu mchezaji anaitwa kama kuna anaitwa kama Christopher Koloti Christopher Koloti anamaliza uh, kadrasi yake ya kwenda FC Leopard Kuna Koloti alikuwa anachezea timu ya Shabana so sasa hivi ni good move ya kwenda eh, timu ya eh, timu ya eh, timu ya FC Leopard Okay kuna watazama wetu ambao labda tukiongelea maneno ya match fix hiyo maneno ya betting wamezoea kuwa wana bet pale kwa Premier League wana bet hapo kwa FA na hizo zingine kama hizo za La Liga and something wengi hawajakuwa wakibet Kenyan games sababu hawajapata mtu ambaye ako na uwezo kamili wa kuwachambulia hizo matches anawapea highlights unajua local games ni tricky sana local games are very tricky utapata kuna shabiki hapo wa Gormahia ambaye 
Sasa hizi unasema Shabana ni timu nzuri. Kumaanisha Shabana na Gor Mahia wakipatana. Eh oh. ni hiyo ni dabi nyingine. Kwa sababu Shabana kuna Shabana na Gor Mahia wote timu zote mbili ziko na waja wa mashabiki wengi sana. Kusema kujitokeza mashabiki kuna kuna game ambayo ilikuja kuchezewa hapa maeneo ya Ulinzi Complex ilikuwa kati ya Ulinzi Stars na Shabana FC. Uwanja umejaa sana. Mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa huko nikishuhudia uwanja ulijaa sana kwa kumaanisha kuwa wachezaji wa mashabiki wenyewe walikuwa wengi hata wengine wakaanza kusimama. So guys, kama uko hapo live, maybe umekuwa kitamani sana kubet hizi local games. Tutakuwa tunakupea match analysis, tunakuwa tunakufanyia everything tunakuweka ready for betting. Tutakuwa tunakutambulia teams na all players hapa kwa live yetu. Tutakuwa tunakwambia teams za kama FC Leopards unakuta haujui mchezaji hata mmoja, haujui formation, haujui lineup. Tutakuwa tunawafanyia all that kwa hii live yetu. Sisi tutakuwa tuna focus sana sana kwa local games na venye Afcon naenda kuanza all the period tutakuwa na nini hapa kwa Afcon hata games ikicheza uwezekano ukiwepo na tunatumai kwa utakuwepo hata kama maybe hutakuwa naangalia pale kwa Skyfox hutakuwa naangalia games zako pale tutakuwa tunakupea hapa match highlights exactly game ikiendelea tunatupata live tunakuambia yale ambayo yanajiri kutoka ule upande wa Ivory Coast wakati wa Afcon. So guys you stay tuned. Alafu muda huo pia nakukumbusha kuwa unaweza uka download mchezo wa online Joga Bonito pale kwa www.gwaman.com. www.gwaman.com. Jinya kule hiyo game hapo you download that game, you stay ready, you stay tuned. Unacheza hapo kwa www.com you invest hapo your five you are 10 bob you are 20 bob you are 50 any amount bora upate opponent ambaye ako tayari kucheza na wewe kwa hiyo table watu wako online kila wakati it's a new game guys it's when it's now growing it's growing very rapidly ni mchezo ambao umekubalika Tanzania umekubalika Uganda na pia Kenya it is growing at a very rapid very rapid speed so kama uko hapo na unatamani kucheza online unajua siku hizo chika kidogo unasikia pesa ziko wapi pesa ziko online. Eh. Unasikia pesa ziko online. Asikwambia mtu. Mtu asikwambie. Eh, don't listen to anything. Pesa ziko online. Yeah, tuko utaka hapo utasikia mtu anakuambia kuna freelance, ne? kuna web design, sijui nini. Kile ambacho hawaambi ni kuwa pesa ipo kwenye sport. There is money in online gaming. You go to that link right now www.gwaman.com download that game joga bonito na one of the advantages ukisha download game to pack unapata bonus yako ya 25 shillings hmm? kumaanisha kuanza game huanzi na pesa yako everything is free registration is free you only need 5 shillings za kuwa na data this is the only online game unacheza na data kidogo sana so you guys as you make an effort to download that game pia tunakuambia ku ukikuwa na any inquiries maybe uko na any issues maybe kwa show yetu tumekuambia kuhusu game how to understand anything kuna nambari hapo kwa screen Ap, kuna nambari hapo kwa screen you can call directly na pia unaweza tukuta pale kwenye whatsapp kupitia kwa 0741 8217840741 8217840741 84 hiyo ni nambari ambayo tunaitumia kwenye mtandao wetu wa WhatsApp na pia kwenye calls direct. Mhm. Mm yeah, ume, umepata kujua mawili matatu kuhusu vile unaweza kufikia hapa uh, wakati ambao tunaongelea tuna hizo match analysis. Nimekwambia kuwa tutakuwa tunaguzia tumeguzia mwenzangu hapa amekwambia maneno ya, ya Kenya Premier League ya hapa mawili matatu ambayo nimekwambia Asami Pamzo Omolo amekuwa sasa hivi kocha mpya wa Shabana FC. Ni Shabana ni moja ya chama ilitoka NSL hivi majuzi wako na Muranga Sills. So sasa hizi Shabana na, na piga juhudi hapa na pale kumaanisha kujituma ili waweze ku, at least kuingia kwenye eh, top 15 kwa sababu sasa hivi wako na nafasi ya 18 na, na wako wabaya sana kushushwa daraja kurudisha kurudi sehemu walikuwa. Mfa game yao ya mwisho ilikuwa game ambao walicheza na Mhoroni Youth maeneo ya eh, uko Homa Bay eh, Oginga Odinga Stadium ambapo Goroma ambapo Shabana ilianza kupigwa na Mhoroni Youth pamoja kwa nunge 
kumbuka hiyo hiyo mchezo unaweza kuishia ambapo mashabiki wanaweza kupiga kuzua vita na kurushiana vita ambao ni kitu ambacho tunachejele pia gavana mwenyewe wa Homa Bill Gladys Wanga alianza kusema kisa kama hicho hakiwezi kurudiwa tena kwa sababu mpira ndio unaeleta watu pamoja. Alafu kuna pia ule kipa uh, kipa mwingine wa anaitwa Joel Makambo ambao uh, ni kipa wa Mulembe. Najua Mulembe United. Sija Mulembe. Eh. So kipa wa Mulembe sasa hivi anamalizia anamalizia saini yake ya kuingia kwenye timu ya Elm FC hizo ni timu ambazo zinacheza maeneo ya West. Na kuna ile game moja ambayo weka mwekezaji kuna game ambayo itakuwa inacheza leo game ambayo inajulikana kama Kibera Soka watakuwa wanacheza na Bristol maeneo ya NCC ground na kia mimi kwa upato wangu ninaweza kuambia unaelekea Kibera kwa sababu Kibera ni mmoja wa timu ambazo zinajituma sana na kumbuka Kibera ni ni timu ambayo inaji iko kwenye ligi ya NCC kwa nafasi ya kwa nafasi ya kwanza ni timu ambayo inajituma sana na unaweza kuambia kuwa uiweke tena upato sana. Alafu kuna huyu mchezaji wa huyu ni wa Malindi captain anajuka Bernard Lucy. Bernard Lucy si si mwanadada bali ni mwanaume. Ana train kuna transfer amefanya kwa ya Equity eh, Equity FC. So kuna saizi ma transfer za hapa na pale kumaanisha kwa wachezaji wa pia wa mashinani wanajituma uh, sana. Pia kuna huyu striker anaitwa Joshua Omund Kesho ambaye anachezea timu ya Talanta FC. Uh, saizi walikuwa walikuwa na wanacheza wana, walikuwa wanacheza na friend na Kibra United uh, leo ambao watakuwa wanacheza maeneo ya kutoka hapo watakuwa wanacheza na uh, kuna hii timu inajulikana kama daraja moja daraja gogo FC ambayo inamtaka sana so pia huyu mchezaji Joshua Omute ni baadhi ya wachezaji ambao wanajituma sana uh, on, uh, pia kuna huyu mchezaji wa Nzoia Sugar Strike anaitwa Muhammad Barisa Muhammad Barisa ni Saizi ya kukaribia, kukaribu kumaliza, ya, kumaliza transfer yake na kujiunga na ile timu ya Kosti na ito kama Bandari FC amba atakuwa na ji, anajiunga na timu ya Bandari FC. Ama ya chazia timu kama, ama, ni mwaja pia wa chazaji, ama isa agia sana Zoya Sugar, eh, kichazia maeneo ya, maeneo ya, kichazia maeneo, maeneo ya, forward alikuwa anachezea huyu ni winger forward pia anacheza mimi so ni mchezaji pia banali kimpata watakuwa na uh, watakuwa wanajituma sana kwa wamefaidika kikubwa sana pia kuna UFC Leopard uh, kuna interest ya ku kuchukua ku, ku Costa Rangers wachezaji wane wachezaji wana hao ni nani ni kuna captain anaitwa Ken Owino na assistant wake Brian Musa na pia kuna winger Brian Otien na Caleb Olinda hao wote ni wachezaji wa ingwe eh, ni wa ingwe so wanataka wote Oh, wow. what what okay yani what okay uh, posta ranger wengine ingo so sisi posta ranger wao kwa uh, transfer zao wanataka wachukue wa nani na wanataka waachilie nani alafu kuna huyu former Luanda Villa na Vihiga Sports striker Benson Malaki akiwa uh, kuna kuna tetesi kwa anazaingia kwenye uh, GFF uh, 105 FC ambayo inashiriki ina daraja la NSL na tutakuwa tunaangalia hizo pia je eh, hiyo mstakabali wake akajiunga na hiyo timu itakuwa ya kuna hii timu ya inaitwa Kakamega Homeboys eh, wako 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 uangalizi kwa kuangalia kwa na sign mchezaji anaitwa kama kutoka maeneo ya Green Commandos captain na na huni center defender anaitwa Eden Mandela Mandela ni mmoja wa wachezaji ambao ni ni Tangis brother ya Moses Mudavadu na atakuwa anacheza anacheza na atakuwa na second sign wa kutoka maeneo ya Co eh, Commandos na hii baada ya wao kusaini Obana ba Obana ba ingo hii hii ni FC hii ni kaka mega homeboys comrade so hii ni baadhi tu ya mechi za mashinani ambao nitakuwa tutakuwa tunawapatia mauli matatu kuhusu o meji za KPL. Ndio nasema anga chat begins at home. So tunawapatia mawili mara mbili mnaweza kujua soka ya hapa nchini alafu tuna tunakuta abroad. Vile vile pia soko tunapea highlights kuhusu ile michezo ambayo imepangwa locally na viongozi wetu kama size hiyo cup ya Moses Kuria SG kama inaanza kwa mtandao wetu wa Twitter niliona Moses Kuria anaandaa mchezo hapo kwa gatuzi la Chambo I think. So guys pia kuna ile ilikuwa ya Cleo alafu kuna ile ya tulipata ile kijana anaitwa Andrew Kibet ama sana tulikuwa ile Andrew Kibet eh Andrew Kibet size nasikia ako kwa academy ya Spain eh yeah, Spain ya yeah, so pia viongozi wetu wanajituma vile vile kuhakikisha kuwa 
Chalanta wanasema wanasema Chalanta nini? Chalanta hela. You get? Chalanta hela. So you guys watazamaji wetu always hapo kwa comment section maybe you want to be part of the live kuna maybe hapo kwa na highlight plan ndio umeivia kuna something flani ni umeivia ni unaweza changia or something always comment hapo kwa comment section drop your comments hapo labda unataka kuwa kwa live yetu next time unataka kuwa guest next time utakuwa na host hapa ile wakati atakuwa anafanya match analysis atakuwa na ku invite kama guest na pia unatusaidia kuchapa bimba pamoja so meanwhile guys na wakumbusha tena once mimi sitachoka kuwakumbusha download mchezo wa w download mchezo wa joga bonito kwa www.gwaman.com www.gwaman.com unaupata mchezo ule wa joga bonito hapo una register na mara hiyo hiyo unajiunga na community ya online gaming ya gwaman so guys mjue kwa huo mchezo tuko na bonuses na pia tuko na gifts na tuko na events Yeah. kuna bonuses kuna gift na kuna events ukisha download tu hivi once the app is in your phone ume register hapo ume verify unapata 25 shillings cash ya kuanza game unaweza cheza na hiyo amount with anybody unaweza cheza na mtanzania unaweza cheza na mkenya ama mnyuganda na vile vile pia tuko na gifts zinaitwa bonito gifts kila wiki tunapeana zawadi kwa wachezaji bora. Na pia tuko na events zile za tournaments. Yaani events hapo ni nyingi sana. Kila kila huo mchezo, kila wakati ambao unacheza ni mchezo ambao utaufurahia sana kwa kuwa unakupea that that feeling na huwa you are doing something in life sio uko na data hapo maybe uko pale TikTok unaangalia video ama something. Tumia hiyo data kutengeneza shilingi tano zako na shilingi kumi ishirini hamsini hata mia. so guys meanwhile as we, as we do for the match analysis remember to download that game utapata hapo vibe ya pool utapata vibe ya football na ikikubamba remember to refer a friend rafiki yangu hapa hapo ana ufahamu wa mchezo mimi tumekuwa na breakfast pale siku moja ya ronga ya anambia ah kaka mbona naona kama kama uko na pesa nikaongea mwanangu mimi hapa anacheza game na cheza game ya joga bonito mara mm-hmm. that that nikamuonyesha aka download kwa www.gwaman.com na hiyo siku alinunulia land kumaanisha pia wewe ukiwa na rafiki yako hapo mnacheza genuine games mko na possibility ya kukula lunch pamoja isani ya joga bonito yeah wanakuambia joga bonito ndio sasa hii talk of town kama una joga bonito si uko wapi lakini wewe cha msingi tu ni kuingia na venye tu tumekuambia ili ukaweze kujiunga nasi na upate maneno ya joga bonito kuna wale 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 wameuliza je hizo kwa tupatie updates ya 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 standing table ya maeneo ya Tanzania bar Tanzania yeah. ya Simba ya yeah. standing table <laughs> standing table na standing table yao sasa hizi timu ambayo inaongozwa ni timu ya Azam Azam FC ambayo ni iko na point 31 alafu yenye inaifuata ni Yanga Africans iko na point 30 alafu kuna Simba iko na mbali ya tatu iko na point 23 eh Yanga iko Simba iko mbali alafu kuna KMC iko na point 21 alafu kuna Singida United Singida United iko na point 24 alafu kuna Postal Union na nafasi ya sita alafu kuna Dodoma Jiji kuna na Mungo kuna T Prison kuna Jaita Gold kuna JKT Tanzania kuna Tabora kuna Iheda kuna Kagera Sugar iko nafasi ya 14 alafu kuna uh, Mashujaa kuna Mtibwa Sugar so Mashujaa na Tibwa Sugar wako na nafasi 16 kuna sita kuna sita kuna tano mtawaia au ni hiyo ndio starting table ya ya Tanzania ya Tanzania ba hapo tuko na standing table ya KPL ambayo ni Kenya Premier League ambayo timu ambayo inaongoza ni Gor Mahia Gor Mahia ni timu ambayo inaongoza kwa sasa kwa point eh, 38 alafu timu ya pili ambayo ina 37 kwa timu ya pili ni ni ambayo inaongoza ni Nairobi City Stars kwa point 30 alafu ya tatu ni Costa Rangers kwa point 29 eh, na na pia timu ambayo inaifuata kwa karibu sana ni Bandari ila posta renda ya kuna goal different ambao ni kumi alafu bandari ya goal different ambao ni tatu alafu kuna namba 5 Tasca na na sita ni Kakamega Homeboys 
alafu namba 7 ni KCB eh, amba nane ni Kenya Kenya Police FC alafu kuna Bidco United alafu kuna Mwanga Seeds kuna kuna point 24 kuna nafasi ya nafasi ya 10 alafu kuna Atalanta FC kuna point 20 alafu kuna FC Leopard kuna point 10 ni FC Leopard ingwe kwa bi FC Leopard mara mwisho kushinda ligi ilikuwa mwaka 1998 Ningependo labda tueleze labda kama sio mimi na wachezaji wangu mm-hmm. nina imani pia wangependa kujua mm-hmm. kuna tofauti gani kati ya um, leadership ya ule mchezo wa football upande wa Tanzania mm-hmm. na upande wa Kenya what is the difference what makes Tanzania's football mm-hmm. be more valuable than the Kenyan football ni nini inasababisha Kenya ikatolewa pale kwa Afcon Tanzania bado iko kwa Afcon ni nini inasababisha timu ile ya Yanga na Simba inajulikana zaidi kuhusu team za Kenya what could be the issue chakwanza corruption mm-hmm. corruption ndio tanza tukiingia kwenye Tanzania Tanzania wamekeza sana kwa vipaji eh, isha kuwa hata si kwa muziki pia uh, 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 bali tuko kwa pia kwa wachezaji ukiangalia ligi ya wa, ya, wa, ya maeneo ya Tanzania inasapoziwa ina sana na serikali na hata ukiangalia ligi yao ya hata ya wanadada ni ligi ambayo inajulikana sana kuna wachezaji wengi wa Kenya wanachezea huko asikwambie mtu kuna huyu mchezaji alikuwa anacheza anachezea Kenya Police saa hii anaitwa Kenneth Miguna Miguna ni mmoja wa wachezaji ambao alikuwa anachezea Azam FC na wakati alirudi alikatrasi yake ilisha na Azam FC akurudi kuchezea Kenya Police alisema kuwa uh, wa Kenya tuko nyuma sana in terms of kushabikia na pia kusupport na hiyo hiyo kusapona kwa kusupport leo leo tunaweza pata kwa mfano wa Gormaya imepata mnisani lakini mwisho wa siku huyo mnisani mwenye amekuja haonyeshi zile zile dalili zenye eh, pengine zile dalili zenye alikuwa anataka so alikuwa na expect so ukiingia kwenye Tanzania wachezaji pia ni wengi na serikali pia iko nyuma yao na wa support na ukiangalia kama uwanja wa Benjamin Mkapa ni ni mwai uwanja ambao ni, ni unajulikana sana ukiingia kwenye historia kama zenye uwanja wa Kasarani unajulikana mm-hmm. lakini mm-hmm. ukiangalia uwanja wa Kasarani unajulikana sana kwa sababu ya ya, ya, ya pengine rais anataka akuwa son ine ingia kama hapo ndio unajulikana lakini kuna uh, kuna time yenye ili uwanja hii uwanja wa football ilikuwa football time yenye hayati anaitwa Daniel Tobstich alafu moyo alikuwa kwenye uongozi hii wa KPL ilikuwa inashika sana na kwa hiyo time ya hata wawekezaji walikuja sana kina sport pesa wakawekeza sana lakini haha wa serikali wakaweka wakaweka kanuni ambazo hazingewa hazi, limit so hata ukiangalia sport pesa kuna time yenye team ilikuwa inashinda wanaita kama ni Everton wanakuja kucheza na wao kama ni kama ni timu yote yenye wana support huko England jua sport pesa ilikuwa na sponsor ni my sponsor eh, Everton na pia ime, eh, pia pia hiyo kwa mara ya kwanza ni time yenye Everton ilichezanga na eh, kuna hiyo tournament of sport pesa wali, walifanya between clubs za clubs za Tanzania na Kenya na wenye walishinda hiyo hiyo wakati ni Kario eh, Bangi Sharks ambao Kario Bangi ilianza kucheza na timu ya Everton hiyo Everton ndio hapa Kenya hapa Kenya na pia wamaicheza na Goromaya wakiwa wa maeneo ya uh, Tanzania na kumaanisha kwa timu za kuna hiyo timu za Tanzania zilikuwa kina Simba kuna Yanga kuna Azam lakini hizo zote hiyo time ya Kario Bank ya Kario Bank kwa kuliko eh, 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 zote kina kina Goromaya so kumaanisha Talanta ndio iko lakini ya support hatuna kabisa na kama tunapata support kuna vile government inarudi inaanza lakini pia hapo high amount of tax kwa masuala hapo hapo kwa support ningependa kuongelea vile jambo ambalo tumeliona kwa mtandao sana sana kwa television kuna ile game ilikuwa kama hii yenye mashabiki wamegongo vibaya sana kuwanja na yeye ni yo game ya shabana yeah so pia tuna watazamaji wetu tunawakumbusha kuwa in as much as tuna support mpira you are just a fan huh? you are just a fan just a fan like any other ukienda pale kutazama mpira tafadhali huh? usilete vurugu kwa uwanja ukiangalia hapa hata ukienda pale kwa mess ukienda pale kwa mess ball inaendelea wapi au ukienda pale kwa kwa bar kama hapo ukienda pale legend ama hapo babies utapata mechi zinaendelea 
kuna shabiki wa Arsenal kuna shabiki wa Liverpool na maybe ni Arsenal na Liverpool lakini hakuna vurugu na hizo ni mechi za nchi za ngambo ambazo hata sisi wenyewe hawatujui mawanja za nyoo hatuzifahamu the new guys are there and uh, maybe wana local game na kunaleta vurugu that one was very bad na as your host today mimi niko hapa kuambia kuwa let's give support let's give support to the local games bet on the local games eh? bet on the local games let's grow our sport let's grow our sport in as much as we are growing our sport pia nataka kuwakumbusha let's grow the online community in the online community I'm not to angalia hapa ni Jiweman community in a few days tunaenda kuwa na kampuni tunaenda kuwa na namna ya kuleta ya ku make sure kuwa tuko na community ambayo tunaweza cheza pamoja tunaweza predict pamoja tunaweza piga sherehe pamoja za community ya Jiweman mm-hmm. so you guys hapo kwa comment section maybe unataka link ya whatsapp comment hapo chini tuna tuna drop link tuna drop link yetu ya whatsapp ya whatsapp group ya group betting ya whatsapp group ya group ya online gaming those ones are two different groups tuna una, una comment hapo kwa comment section na tuna drop ya link you join mara that that so that we move forward together ndio hivyo wanasema pamoja tu tunaweza wanasema when we come together great things in the happen na ndio mtu tunakwambia unaambia rafiki anaambia rafiki mwingine kuwa sasa hii kutoka uptown ni joga bonito so guys we also want to take a short commercial break very short don't go very far tunataka tukuweke uone game maybe you want to know hii joga bonito ambayo unasikia how does it look huh? what is it, what is exactly in that match mimi nimekuambia kuwa hiyo game inapeana vibe ya football na vibe ya pool unataka kujua vibe ya football na pool inaingiliana aje nimekuambia kuwa kuna goal post pale na kuna discs na kuna ball unataka kuona how exactly does the pool table look like how exactly is the game played sababu huwezi anza kucheza mchezo ambao hauja ufahamu kwa vyovyote vile so guys let me show you in a few I want to show you what the game is all about stay tuned as we also take a short commercial break Yeah, welcome back our viewers. Na tumesema tu kwa jinsi ya kuingia kwenye Joga Bonito umeweza kuona hapo kwenye screen yako. Ni rahisi tu, ni rahisi tu kama wenye tunasema kumsukuma mulevi kwenye kwenye mtaro. So ni rahisi tu usione kuwa ni, ni, ni ngumu na tumekuambia tu hapa ni kuambia tu rafiki ambia rafiki mwingine kuwa hapa tutenye tunafanya ni about match analysis. Na si lazima ukuwe ni wewe ni mtu umanye unaelewa ya maneno ya uh, game kama uelewe sisi ndio ndio maana sisi tuko hapa hakikisha kuwa wewe unaelewa maneno ya game venye kuko na venye inatarajiwa kuwa na mimi nilikuwa kwa wale ambao wameanza na, na sisi wakati tumeanza alafu uh, mpaka sasa hivi tumefikia at least umegeni mawili matatu kuhusu uh, kuhusu maneno ya sports na kuhusu maneno ya analysis venye inaendelea uh, kuende inaendelea kukua na pia tumeguzia mawili matatu kuhusu uh, uh, Kenya Premier League na tumeingia uh, Tanzania mawili yote kidogo na pia tumeingia AFCON ambayo itakuwa inaanza siku tatu kuanzia sasa maeneo ya uh, maeneo ya Ivory Coast. Kumbuka Ivory Coast inafahamiwa tena kwa jina nyingine inaitwa Cote d'Ivoire. So hiyo ni inchi ambayo itakuwa Okay, so that was that is the last leg of the match analysis will be leaving at, a, at that today so in case you have any issues that you raise unaweza kutukia hapo kwa www 
www.jwman.com download your game utapata pia hapo kuna icon ya WhatsApp unaweza join WhatsApp group directly kupitia kwa hiyo link meanwhile as we come to the end tunashukuru kuwa na nyinyi hapa kwenye live na pia tunawaambia kuwa saa hizi form ni online game wewe download game lako hapo install it in your phone it's free registration is free unapata bonus yako hapo na unajipanga unakuwa tayari kuwa member of the Juma gaming community Mm -hmm. So guys, as we finish, uh, we want to leave you with the preview of the game. Maybe Natasha Kuana, what the game is all about. Maybe Kuana CC as we went for a short commercial break. So Natasha Kumalizia Hapo. But next time, we're also promising you, apart from talking about the Afcon games, to talk about our pair details deep Zaidi, go to the Kenya Premier League, na the Tanzania Premier League. To go to Naziangalia in detail. Tunawachambulia wachezaji, wachezaji tunaenda kufanya research yetu pale nzuri tunawaambia match highlights za game ambazo zimepita na pia tuko tunawekea hapo video za highlights mnaona what happened on the previous matches na pia tunawapea lineup ya what to expect in the coming matches and all that only on Joga Bonito kupitia kwa live yetu hapa kwa Jwema Facebook YouTube na pia tutakuwa nayo pale TikTok from the next season you always stay tuned same time same place kutoka saa 5 mpaka saa 7 tutakuwa live kila siku kuwachambulia mechi na kuwajulisha zaidi kuhusu mchezo wa Joga Bonito zile event ambazo zimepangwa the latest events zile event ambazo zimefanyika kwa Joga Bonito zile betting ambazo tumefanya mtakuwa mnazipata kwenye match analysis pamoja hizo zote ni analysis hizo zote ni highlights tutakuwa tunaziweka pamoja na tunaziita match analysis kila siku same time same place Satano Hadisa Saba. I was your host, Brucias. I'm a Kwajina Langu Kamili. You can call me Rio Baldenis Mwita Kwajina La Studio. Ni naitua Brucias. Nami, ni nimekwa co-host wako. Naitua Zomolo Mujamu Kipenda. Zakari, unaizaingia kwenye kurasa wangu wa Facebook, Instagram, TikTok zote ni Zomolo. Mwita toka tunaungia mawili matatu. Kama ukona ya hote ingia kwenye hiyo mtanda, utakuna click tu. Unashia lafu, utakuna uliza masali ya yote about sport. Takuwa tunakuchambulia. Until next time, bye bye. Ya, na kwenye social media. Yes, kwenye social media handle zetu tatupata pale kwenye Facebook, TikTok na YouTube. Kindly remember to subscribe pale YouTube. Ndo, kila wakati tunaenda live utakuna tupata. Na kwenye Facebook yetu pia pale, hit like, follow us. Pale kwa TikTok pia ni Jiweman, Jiweman Esports. Follow us pale, work a like. In every video kamu kwa naka comment pale drop. We shall be reviewing all the comments and giving feedback. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.